Hi, my name is Ivy from Mar Alliance, and today I'm going to be cleaning and preparing shark vertebrae for age and growth studies. So this is part of the, uh, the backbone of a hammerhead shark. And um, you can see we have approximately 12 to, to 13 um, individual shark vertebrae here. And you can see that from these lines here. Um, this is a pretty big section because it was a large shark and we were trying to maximize the number of vertebrae that we get. We want to try to get between 5 and 10. Um, smaller sharks have smaller vertebrae, so with um, a more coastal shark like a black tip or a Caribbean reef, you could almost take more like a section this way and you would still get your, your 10 vertebrae. So now we're looking at um, the side section of the, sh of the vertebrae, excuse me, and here we have the neural arch and then we have the supporting processes here. We actually don't need any of this material for our age and growth study, so what we're going to do next is go ahead and give this a bit of a clean and we're going to remove um, these external parts. Okay, so I'm going to start removing the excess flesh that came, um, is still attached to this. Um, the one important thing to remember is to always keep your label with your sample, um, especially if you're doing more than one at once. It's extremely important to make sure that your, your label stays um, with your sample. So, firstly, I'm just going to remove um, the pink part. This is uh, the muscle, and you can do that with a knife. Um, it actually works best sometimes to scrape. This is the point where I'm aiming to cut. You can see the, the clear material here and then it becomes opaque. Um, you'll be able to feel this with your knife when you start to cut. So now I'm going to use my knife to cut down on this process. It's very difficult to actually hurt, excuse me, the vertebrae. Um, if you encounter resistance and it's extremely difficult to cut, you're probably um, encountering some of the cartilage. And um, it's very difficult to cut into the cartilage. So just adjust your track a little bit, if that's the case. Don't worry too much about cutting the vertebrae itself because, like I said, it's very resistant. So now that we've made the initial cut, we're going to go and cut a little bit closer to sort of smooth it out. And the reason that I keep this in one whole log like this while I'm doing this is it's much easier to work with all of these and remove these bigger um, pieces when it's a one big log rather than the individual centra. And again, I can use the side of my knife here to scrape off flesh. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the neural arch. Um, you can see that's the neural arch along here. Again, there's going to be a bit of a sweet spot that your knife will hit when you're cutting along. Um, I'm going to start from the top. It's very important to on this uh, that you wash your fingers, so I keep mine back from the knife's blade yep. here and start to cut down. Because this is such a large log, it's a little bit unwieldy. And now I've got a volunteer who is bravely holding the bottom so this doesn't slip. And again, I'm just using small strokes and it should encounter very little resistance. So now you can see I'm, I'm partway through, this is the neural arch here, and you can see where I've been cutting. I started to encounter resistance here, so I had to cut, you can see I, I cut through this bit. So getting, keeping close to the vertebra is the, the easiest way to make the cut. So now I'm just doing the final cleaning of this while the vertebrae are still all connected into this log. So I just, again, trying to remove as much of this extra material as possible because it, it's much easier to deal with in bulk. And see that it, the vertebrae aren't perfectly round, then it should be removed. And I'll continue with this until we have a nice round vertebra that's mostly clean. So now our log is mostly clean and I'm going to start separating the individual centra. Again, you can tell when you're in the right spot because the knife will go straight through and you can see, you can actually feel with your finger where the separation is. So if I make a cut through and it's very easy to get through, then I'm in the right spot. So I will continue along until I have all of my individual shark vertebrae separated. So here we have a separated individual centra, and what we're going to be doing now is doing a little bit more cleanup work. You can see here it's not still not perfectly round, so we're going to want to use a scalpel to remove uh, a bit of this material. And then there's also this jelly um, that is also in the inside here, and we're going to use a scalpel also to sort of scrape this material out, being very, very careful of our fingers because scalpels are very, very sharp. Um, 
we're going to clean up as much as we can of this material and the excess material on the outside, but we don't need to work too hard on this because bleach is going to do a lot of our work for us. So here I am using my scalpel, again, to remove those bits of the vertebra that are not perfectly round. Same with a knife, you'll encounter a sweet spot. If it's too hard to cut through, don't force it. You're probably in the wrong spot. And you'll notice that there's a lot of loose flesh on the outside of this. Again, don't work too hard with your scalpel um, on this stuff. The, the bleach will take care of that. Mostly clean on the outside. It's very round from the top. I'm going to use my scalpel. Again, this is that jelly material I was talking about. I'm basically going to use the scalpel to sort of go around in a circle. And I don't need to be real hard scraping on this because it will actually, in this case, you can cut into the side and this is the edge that we want to be reading when we're doing age and growth. So you don't want to damage this too much. So we're going to use the flat edge of our scalpel to remove this. But again, not getting too terribly picky about it. The smaller sharks, this is actually pretty difficult. So if you have a very small, sort of smarty sized vertebra, you almost don't even need to do this step because it's really going to go away very quickly with the bleach. It's only really the bigger vertebra that you need that. And this is a vertebral center that's ready to go into the bleach. So here we have our very last vertebra that has been cleaned. It's going to go into a container that's big enough that we can fill with bleach and then add another probably inch or so. And now I am going to add bleach and let it do its magic. So this is 5% sodium hypochlorite. And the, basically what it's going to do is it's going to eat away at the remaining flesh on these vertebrae. This is a chemical reaction. So what we want to do is we want to give it plenty of room to work. So I like to stir it first. And you'll see almost immediately it starts to bubble up. That's what's um, removing the flesh. We want to make sure there aren't any pockets of air in here. And what you'll notice is over time, this will start to heat up. The, you'll be able to feel the heat from the outside of the container. About every 10 minutes or so, you should walk by and give it a nice stir. This will, again, free up some of the bubbles and ensure that the chemical reaction continues. Um, after about 30 minutes, when you come by and you feel it, if the uh, container has gone cold, that means that the chemical reaction has stopped. So it's been about 10 minutes. You can see there's a lot of foam coming up here, and you can see there are a lot of bubbles um, in the bleach. So I'm going to just use this, my scalpel blade or something else that's resistant and give it a good stir. So now I've come back after 30 minutes, and you can see that the bleach is somewhat clear and it's no longer bubbling. It's also cool to the touch, which tells us that the chemical reaction has stopped. Now it's important to note that for very small vertebrae, the second application of bleach may not be necessary. And in fact, for things like stingrays and young of the year sharks, we want to keep an eye on the, the vertebrae very closely, even on the first application of bleach, because it can actually eat away at the entire um, vertebral centra. The clean vertebrae will be completely white and will not have any uh, yellow spots of the tissue on any of the edges. To see other videos like this, check out our technical series on our YouTube channel. You can also go over to our website at maralliance.org or go ahead and give us a like on Facebook.